things your girls have been loving, your girls, one girl, one girl, has been loving to do in The Sims 4 lately is build. I don't know what it is. It's so relaxing. It's like super, super, super fun. And it just makes me feel so, so content inside. And I wanted to build a more manufactured type of homes, kind of like when I did the, I think it was the Oaken, Oaken Field or Oaken something. I don't remember what it was, but it's definitely on my build playlist. Um, it's kind of more of like a manufactured type of home, but that one's a little more like expensive. Um, I do think that one is like a $30,000 home. It's actually the house that Rossi and Caleb are currently living in and holy crap, they can barely afford that. So I wouldn't say it's much of a static. I kind of lied on that one, I think. Um, but this one is definitely your true definition of a starter for a sim of one can actually afford to live here kind of comfortably. And what I mean by kind of is that Although if you're creating a sim and you just want to plop them into a somewhat decent house, they will be able to um, easily afford it with about $120 left over. You're definitely going to need to get your sim out there to forage or a job or something because like I said, $120 isn't a lot of money left over. Now your girl could have totally made this just a bunch cheaper, but I decided that I wanted a certain type of luxury to kind of coexist with the home. I didn't want to make it extremely, extremely cheap. So I definitely pushed the budget just a little bit with this one. Um, I think this one has two bedrooms and a bath. And I really do like the general layout of everything. Like I said, it is a starter home, but it kind of has a feel of something maybe just a little more expensive. So it isn't completely and utterly cheap, but it does have like that manufactured home look that I want to build more of because I just kind of like that style. And so we're going in with some fine little details on the front of the porch, which I actually really love. I think you have just enough room where you could probably put in a bench or maybe a couple of flower pots or whatever. So as we go in and kind of landscape the inside, you can see where we have a bathroom a smaller bedroom and then also a bigger master bedroom that is quite comfortable might I add so we're going at going ah we're going ah we're going ah we're what we're going in and adding in some ah what you McCallers what you McCallers floor pathways yes I decided to go in with the cheapest wood I could possibly find and then I wanted to make a little bit of a hallway to section off you know the ever revolving doors and I really do like it um, the way that it came out anyways. It may not be to everybody's liking and I did actually have to use the bb.move objects enabled and testing cheats enabled to be able to um, put in that archway there, but I just kind of like the way that it looks. I don't know, if you don't like it, you can get your little handy dandy hammer and just start knocking down the walls and slap yourself on the butt and call your own self Bob the Builder. Totally cool with that, totally cool with that. You don't have to keep anything that I put up obviously I tell you guys that all the time I'm like you can change things I don't know I think a reason why I tell you that though like seriously like inside secret inside scoop is because I feel bad when I go into like people's homes and I start demolishing things like that is why I absolutely don't like doing um collabs where I have to decorate someone's house I'm like oh my god what if they don't like it or what if like <laughs> what if they're like Jen what the hell did you literally I'm like the kind of girl that you like have a beautiful painting and all I had to do I had one job color in between the lines and I just go in there and screw the whole thing up that's me that's me that's how I feel. So I think that's why I tell you guys, like, don't be afraid. Don't be me. Don't be that girl. Go in there. Get your hands dirty. Make it your own. And I absolutely love it when you guys send me your Twitter pictures and stuff like that. And you're like, this is what I did with the house. And this, it just, it, sometimes it even comes out better than I imagined. And I also get a little bit of inspiration for future builds from you guys. So that's also really cool too. Um, I have had questions in the past of like, if I was to send you things to like, for you to check out or whatever, where's, what's the best way I could send Twitter? Honestly, like if you want to show me anything, Twitter is the way to go. Like that is the way to go. Um, it's just easier and more accessible for me to check like on the go on my phone and stuff. And then also um, it's just it's I, I go on Twitter all the time. So <laughs> it's the best way to get a con in contact with me. So as we go in with the living quarters, I'm not going to lie. I always screw myself on the living room situation because I can't figure it out. I'm like, I don't know if I want to put this here, there or whatever. I'm terrible with organizing furniture. That I will definitely put my hand like proud in the sky and admit because it's true. But again, in the end, I really do love how everything came out. I just had a really hard problem with 
um, using all the cheapy stuff. Like I really have expensive taste when it comes in The Sims 4 um, because most of my Sims are, they be broke. <laughs> so I really have like this, this, this strong urge to use nicer things, but I try to make it work. We're, we're shopping on a budget here, okay? And I keep checking back and making sure that I am like financially, you know, within my means. I didn't want this to go over 20K and I'm really happy that it didn't. And I feel like I furnished it. Um, to basically my liking and I even added in a couple extra details and stuff like that. So we're adding in a porch light because I kind of feel like that is a necessity. That's a must. And then I played with the sizing up of the painting. And although I didn't really like the painting a little bit larger than in charge, I'm actually kind of liking it bigger um, because <laughs> bigger is better. And I don't know why I left it. Like it doesn't cost anything, right? So I don't know. If you guys want to size that up, totally recommend you doing that. As we go in the bathroom, I kind of kept this to the, the bare basics. I wanted to put in a rug, but it just wasn't fitting. And it didn't make sense that a rug would be underneath the shower. So instead, I opted to put in a couple other finer details. Obviously, some toilet paper to wash your calipo. And then we also have a towel rack um, with a little pop of turquoise just to add some sort of color in there with all the white walls. And then we're moving on to the master bedroom, which again, Definitely doesn't look like a stunner house. See, that's what I'm saying. It looks like it could be, you know, pretty, pretty nice and maybe a nicer build or a more expensive build. And I definitely splurged in some areas and, you know, sacrificed in others. And again, with the overuse of the curtains, I actually am proud of them starting to use curtains. Um, I'm feeling like walls are almost bare without them. Is that weird? That may be a little bit weird. And then over here we have the kids room, which is actually for two boys or it could be for two girls. It really doesn't matter. Um, but I decided to do, um, you know, kind of make it so that if you had a, a baby or a little boy or girl or, you know, and you wanted more children, there was also the ability to do that as well. Definitely would suggest getting a new house at this point because you were literally busted at the seams. But I really love the way that this little room turned out. I decided to put up a couple shelves. I don't know if I actually left these in there. I think that I did. And then I went in and put in like a couple little knickknacks and toys because to be honest with you, there really wasn't a lot of room to put in a toy chest. And that's actually one of the things I really wanted to try to squeeze in there. But unfortunately, I couldn't. So this is what we had to um, make do with. So as I add in the final touches to the outside, I put in the mailbox. I added in a couple like um, planters, I think. I'm not exactly sure. I just added in some fine little knickknacks here just to kind of spruce up the front lawn a little bit. This is kind of where my budget was starting to bust as I checked. I'm like, oh crap, I don't have that much more to like spend on this place. So I kind of had to like pick and choose and become very picky with whatever I wanted to put out in the front porch there. Or por lawn. It's a lawn, Jen. It's a lawn. But yeah, I actually do really love the way that it turned out. And you know, as your family grows or as you grow, maybe you're two single sims or a single sim, um, you could definitely change the home to your your liking your lifestyle and kind of grow with it even if you wanted to keep it and add like an upstairs and all that jazz but basically it's a good place for status and I hope you all enjoyed the speed build if you did don't forget to go ahead and give me a big fat thumbs up and also don't forget to go and comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think and I will see you all on the flip side <laughs> bye guys